Today on DIY Solar Power with Papa, I want to talk to you about the two different lithium iron phosphate batteries that we have. We have this 48 volt, 51.2, it's actually a 51.2 volt, 100 amps, 5120 watt hours that we have connected to this MPP solar inverter. It's a 48 volt, 6,500 watt inverter off grid. And then we also have these two 12 volt batteries that we got like two weeks ago. And these are from Battery Evil. We have these because we want to use them in our motor home for a different application for running the air conditioner and some other things there. We're gonna get two more, so we'll have a total of four. So eventually we could either um, use them as 12, 24, 36, or 48 volts. Right now, we're using these as a 24 volt battery bank for these MPP Solar 2400 watt, 24 volt inverters. And when we went to connect these, they connected very easily. In fact, I really like the fact that they come with an Anderson cable. They actually come with this from the gray up to here with that part. They already have the terminals on the ends here. I taped them over. But um, I bought this part here that runs over and connects to one battery and also the second battery and it's so easy to set up all you have to do is connect your positive and negative there connect your two batteries together and then just plug the anderson cables together and you're set with whatever you want to do whether you want to do it in 12 volt 24 volt 36 or 48 we actually have the 48 volt cables um, to where we um, will be connecting those together to make 24 volts. Oh, here they are. So we have these. We also got these from Battery Evil. So there's for one battery, second battery, third battery, fourth battery. And then here's where it connects together, right there, like it is on this one right here, coming from these two batteries. But instead of two, we'll have four batteries. So we were able to get that. They were around $30, $35. Wasn't too bad at all. Um, showed up in like three, four days. So. The one thing I want to talk about today was these 12 volt batteries are 150 amp hour, 2 kilowatt hours, and you can charge these things up to 100 amps. Um, it suggests 30, but you can go up to 100. They charge three to four times quicker than these AGMs. Um, the same thing with this one. You can charge this one really quick with high amps. This inverter will go up to like 75 amps and charge this 48 volt pretty easy. This one over here, um, I think I've had this as high as 70 amps coming in to charge those two batteries. Then they'll charge up pretty quick after we've used them overnight. And that's what I wanted to get to was... We used these overnight. This set, which was just two 12 volt batteries connected in series to make 24 volts for this. We left this one on and this one on. So we had those two parallel together and we ran a mini split like this one, 12,000 BTU, 120 volt mini split upstairs on that. And then we also ran a 12,000 BTU, 120 volt mini split off of this 48 volt battery 
and this 48 volt inverter. Now we ran these and set the temperature in both rooms. This one being in the master bedroom, which is like 60 feet by 15 feet. And it's a very long stretch. It goes from the back of the house to the front of the house. And on this one, it was only a 10 by 12 room that we were cooling. So we set both of the thermostats on the um, heat pumps, like this one. We set it at 78 degrees, and then we also put it on sleep. And on this one, there's a, a display. So we turned the display off so it was completely dark. You don't have any um, light shining in the room. So we put both of those at 78, just ran those overnight, but we set the thermostat upstairs on 79 degrees, just in case these didn't make it through the night. But when we got up in the morning, being set on 78, both rooms, it was 73 degrees in both rooms. And when we looked at the batteries down here, these were at 12 volt. When we started at eight o'clock at night, they were 13.3 on both of those batteries. And they were both at 12 volts when we got up. So they were still at a 24 volt battery. And those, you can actually run them down to 10 and a half volts on each one of those. So it'd be 21 volts. And this one over here, it um, gives you a state of charge but we were down to on this number right here right now it's at 54 volts i believe that was at 52 but then the state of charge right here was 54 percent now you can go down to 20 percent on this one so we got up at six o'clock in the morning and we were still able to run both of these mini splits whether it be on this or on this, much longer than overnight. And like I said, it kept the room, when we got up in the morning, it was 73 degrees in both rooms, regardless of the fact that the master room was much bigger. Now, this one over here, like I said, is two kilowatt hours for each one. So you had the... Um, two kilowatt hours on that and this one over here or 4,000 watt hours this one over here was 5120 watt hours so we were pleasantly surprised that we were able to run those both of those one set off of this one with two inverters running and then that one inverter running over there and running it off that 48 volt battery bank now, if we really wanted to, we have this eight batteries there. It's a 48 volt battery bank. And then we have them both parallel. And that one goes to this inverter, the 48 volt, 5,000 watt uh, MPP off-grid inverter. And then we have this one over here with those four batteries is 48. The down below is 48. Those also parallel together. So we have those eight batteries on this grow watt, 12 kilowatt. So if we really needed to, we could actually run four mini splits overnight. Now, the one thing that I really like about those lithium iron phosphate batteries is they'll charge three to four times faster <clears throat> than the AGMs. The AGMs are recommended to charge at 30 amps and you can charge these quickly, running them at 70, um, 80 amps, and they'll charge up within like two hours, two, two and a half hours on both of these over here. So, in fact, usually in the morning, I don't have that many panels on this until around noon, so I don't really use this set until after 12 o'clock as where all three of these have, bat, have uh, panels
panels in the sun as soon as the sun rises. So what I will do is I will use the um, utility assist on these right here. And it is actually the, um, I have this as a plug. And this, if I plug this in, we'll notice right here on this one, you can just see it's the panels going into the battery and charging it, and it's at seven, eight amps. Now, if we plug this in right here, this is actually going to this grow watt. We can see that when this kicks in, you can see that circle right there. That means utility. And it will connect over to the battery and start charging the battery in just a second. Just takes a second. There we go. Okay, so we're connected on that. So there you go. You see that the amps are going up to 11, 12, and those will go up to 30 plus that 8 or 9 amps. You can see it keeps climbing. So we can charge our batteries up on this 24 volt system when we're running this one over here on this one at 6 6 30 in the morning we're running our three and a half ton upstairs air conditioner to cool our house starting at 6 30 in the morning but we still have plenty of power to spare so we will plug that in and charge this battery up and get this battery charged up uh, pretty early it takes about maybe after using it overnight it'll take like two or three hours to get these fully charged so you can see on here we're up to 29 28 29 amps that we're using to charge this oh, I'm sorry we have this set up as 28 amps so we'll go in here and we can change this here we go that's set at 28 amps we can program it hit that to 30 amps hit the enter button escape and we'll go back and you'll see that we're now climbing above 30 amps we're at 32 34 36 and 37 so we're taking the eight amps, eight, nine amps, we're getting, oh, we're starting to get 10 amps, 11 amps off of our solar panels. I'll show you that. So if we take and unplug this, go back and look at this, you can see that we're at 10 amps. So we're drawing 10 amps off of the solar panels on this right now. So... This is usually 13.3, 13.4 is the charge, and it keeps it at float once we're on that. Right now we're at 13.1 and 13 down below. So, like I said, once again, I can take and plug that in. This will turn that on and start charging that. I'm going to go back and put it on because I really don't need to charge it that quick but that is the nice thing because some of my panels don't get sun until noon so I'll I usually have to um, use the extra power I'm producing off of this grow watt to charge that and I was really impressed so either whether it be a 48 volt battery bank or a 12 volt in series for 24 volts overnight you can run a mini split and you put it on sleep mode so it's it's not blown out real hard if you try to set this thing on on um when i when i go to bed usually the room's around 75 76 that's why seven to 78 and that's in both the rooms if you try to set this thing three, four degrees below the temperature of the room, it's going to chew up 
that battery in like two to four hours. But if you put it on sleep mode, it will keep your room nice and cool after the sun, because I'm doing it at eight o'clock, so the sun's down. So the house is cooling down on the outside and up in the attic and in the walls and the windows. So it's having to work less and less as each hour goes by. But just want to let you know that um, we tested out these and both of them worked excellent overnight to be able to run our mini splits and our um, main air conditioner that we had on grid overnight never kicked on. So we uh, really don't need to use the the um, main air conditioner overnight to cool the upstairs. We just need to cool two bedrooms. So hope that helps you. Um, just to let you know, you can go to batteryevo.com and you can pick these up. And if you go there, uh, these are like $589. But if you buy two of them at a time, they will drop it down to $569. And each one of these that I bought came with a cable and with the connectors on the end to connect to your battery. So you had those contacts on there. And... So we got one for each one of those. I just had to buy the series or parallel cable, whatever I needed to buy, depending on what size battery bank I had. So you can go there. If you buy two of them at a time, it's $569. And then if you put in DIY Solar, you'll get an extra 5 to 7% off your entire order. So even if you're ordering cables, you get an extra 5 to 7% off of that. So I think it ended up being around 1068 because it's free delivery for those. And they showed up in like four days from the day I ordered it. So it was pretty quick. I think they come from California. The um, There's no tax on this and there's no shipping on these batteries uh, when I ordered them. So we ended up getting them for basically $534 a piece. And that was including buying this um, series cable for like $30 or $35. So to get four, two batteries that are two kilowatt hours, 150 amp hours each is not bad. So I'm going to get two more of those. And like I said, if I do I get two more of those, that would be four 12 volt batteries. And if I use one set for these two inverters and another set for those two inverters, now I'll be able to run too many splits overnight, or I could run my pull pump all night long and keep that algae out. So, anyways, I hope this helps you. I hope you have a truly wonderful and blessed day, and we'll see you soon on DIY Solar Power of Papa.